Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video was allegedly. Let's talk. Disclaimer I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only these are my opinions let's get into it so today we're going to be discussing kendrick lamar with his pop-up event and i got some things that i wanted to say and we got some tiana teller and her soon-to-be ex-husband the divorce situation we got update with that we also got polo g's mom and the sister once again putting out some information but some more receipts has been exposed and we got some quick updates with meg and cardi re regarding album and music etc okay so kendrick lamar was in los angeles and he did a, a amazing pop-up event where everybody came out and showed love so we're gonna get into some of the comments and he really did a, a great impact on this event and on this day okay and it was around juneteenth okay they not like us and they not like us. Mr. Drake, he hasn't responded to anything that was going on. I'm pretty sure he was on his phone like this, looking at what the heck was going on. Lost for words. I don't know. Do you think that Drake was feeling some type of way about Kendrick Lamar and that special day that he had everybody talking about? Now, look at this picture. Now, this man put all these different groups together, different gang, gang, gangs, and all type of stuff. Just peaceful. Kendrick had Bloods, Chris, Pyrus, and Hoovers all on stage at once. No fighting, just a moment of togetherness on Juneteenth. That's legendary. I know Nipsey smiling down. Drake couldn't create a moment like this if he tried, and that's the difference between someone who is part of the culture and someone who is a tourist. Miscellaneous gang members got me crying. <laughs> um, at this point, Kendrick and Meg got to hop on a song together the way they bodied these rappers this year. Drake is going to have to deal with the fact that this is a bop and will be played regularly. You missed the point if you thought this was about Drake. Kendrick did this for his city. This was a major freaking event. If you don't have enough knowledge about L.A. culture, just shh. Not YG up there blooding like he's Stacy from the wood. Drake about to make Marin's Room Part 2 about all the friends he lost. Half the people like the song, not because of the hate for Drake. I like Drake. I have nothing against him. But that Kendrick song is a bop. No disrespect to Drake. I just be dancing to the music, not the lyrics. Drake waiting for his little cloud of dust to settle. Kendrick needed Drake's name to have his first hit in 15 years. I'm not comfortable with so many celebrities cele celebrating this, but have biracial children, or they date biracial women, or are married to biracial women. Damn, all of this for one person, Drake the winner. Kendrick, a real Gemini for this. I love. Okay, I personally think he needed someone like Kendrick to show the, the broader audience that all that stuff y'all thought mattered doesn't. People got clouded by the numbers and internet and forgot the real currency is in the community. Now, Chloe was, oh, look at her. She was, yes, minor. She was there jamming, okay? Now, like I said before, don't get me wrong. This is a bop. This is not a flop. He did numbers with this. Everybody is playing his song. He had everybody come out, and he was playing his song, They Not Like Us, at this event like five or six times, and everybody was singing word to word every single time. They didn't get tired of it. Okay, when I tell you the song is everywhere, he did it. It doesn't matter if it had to be a beef between him and Drake and he had to really push that pen and put that out there. He got a hit on his hands and he did that. So it really wouldn't even matter. But let me know how I feel about the event and Kendrick Lamar. They, you know, they did a Nipsey Hustle. They shouted out Tupac. You know, it was a big, you know, a big thing. <phone rings> Tiana Teller and her ex, well, soon to be ex-husband Iman if I'm saying his name correctly, whatever. Listen, they were goals for everybody, but nobody's perfect, and their marriage clearly wasn't either. Now, we're going to get into some of these things, some updates, okay, um, with the sources that has been in the courtroom, around the courtroom, and know some of the information, so we're going to get into some of that. 
Let's get it. So Dennis Byron, okay, he did an update. Tiana Teller alleged during self-marriage, Iman was sending pictures of himself and his two-month-old child to chicks she believed he was dealing with. More trial coverage update. Continues today from testimony from various witness that took the stand. He also says, Tiana arrives to court on day three of her divorce trial against soon-to-be husband and former NBA star Iman Sherpert. During today's testimony, Teller breaks down on the witness stand as she tells how Sherbert cheated on her. She also admits that she too stepped out on the marriage. Um, I planned on filing for a divorce two times before I actually did it. It was a very, very low time when I used to see him send pictures to different females during our two-month-old baby. Taylor told the judge under direct examination by her attorney, Tanya Mitchell Graham. Update. According to testimony from the witness stand, Tiana Teller was legally separated when she dated and not while she was still with him. She never cheated on him while they were together, nor did they have an open relationship as was falsely reported in the past. Also, Iman is on the witness stand right now and is hammering the media with emphasis on name checking TMZ for their coverage. Hmm. Um, I was downstairs on my headphones on playing on my PlayStation and she started hitting me. I used to work with special ed kids and was taught to hold them from behind with a bear hug to calm them down. I yelled for my siblings, names redacted, and went upstairs where my mother was at, stated Sherbert. Under direct examination by his attorney Steele, no relationship to YSL brand Steele. Okay. It must be noted that during a divorce case, both parties will make allegations against the other and unless it can be independently verified, they are just that, allegations. Exactly. Um, Tiana also alleged on the witness stand that Iman was cheating before marriage, during pregnancy, and after marriage. I, I, I believe it. When she left him in 2018, she started dating. When she planned on leaving him for good, she wanted to feel beautiful again. So he wasn't even making her feel like that. Hmm. Um, crazy how Tiana and Iman was all y'all goals not too long ago. I can't believe Iman really treating Tiana Teller like this. Iman big ass talking about Tiana was beating me up while I was playing a PlayStation. Boy, you knew that New York woman was going to knock your stuff loose? Hmm. Um, so is Iman saying Tiana was beating him? I'm confused. That's what it's looking like. Um, waiting for Iman to come out and tell us Tiana really like girls. Iman is such a weirdo. Good thing Tiana left his butt. Tiana Teller hate Iman because he actually get more acting gigs than her. Tiana Teller's gay. Laugh out loud. She used Iman to have kids and I'm not mad. Tiana Teller and Iman are one of the reasons you gotta keep your life off the internet. All that stuff was for the public. I been gave up on love when Tiana and Iman announced their separation. What? Y'all that obsessed? Y'all really looking to these people for goals and couple goals? Uh Uh-uh. Now, like I said, no relationship, no marriage is perfect. If you've been with somebody for a very long time and y'all only have little arguments and stuff that y'all can communicate things about, um then stick it out but the cheating thing is a real big issue in a lot of relationships and marriages it's a lot of people females and males that cannot be faithful for the dear life of them so that messes up a lot so you can have all the communication in the world and everything else but if you cannot be faithful that plays a big part disrespect it comes along with disrespect it comes in along with just no value in a relationship no hope everything is fading apart and y'all just not gonna be like eye to eye no more and it's looking like that's exactly what's happening to them but it is what it is so we shall have an update when this continues now we're gonna talk about polo g's mother and his sister Okay, we already knew that the sister and the mother was had a physical fight. I spoke about this before when everything was spiraling out of control. Now, there has been some leaked footage, okay, from Gossip of the City with the mother holding a, you know, a brrr, okay, and shooting at her daughter. Yes, 
and we can't get into the video but it's on my instagram but we are gonna get into a little bit of the still shot right here this is the mother trying to go for the daughter now this is the mother the greatest form of misery is to attempt to steal someone's joy i'm not bothered nor am i bothering nobody the battle you're raging isn't with me it's with yourself leilani mental health issues are real and so are boundaries i can't still be the villain in your story i've removed myself from your life you're feeding stories to blogs again when i haven't spoken to you in months the problem is you it's my birthday this further proves your jealousy and malicious intent she also has put up text messages Lainani is home they said she had a manic episode she said you woke mama blah 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 i was knocked out i'm up now you okay okay um she's back and coming to my house um then the treatment center in florida so this is basically a message basically whatever i don't know um y'all can pause to read it um st um stacia call me again stacia call me again leilani is bugging polo on his way i'll keep up posting okay so basically they're just showing that she's trying to show that her daughter has some type of mental problem Right here, she's basically saying, I'm going to have her best friend fly in tonight to get her. Please tell blah, blah, blah. I understand and appreciate her trying to help, but I've done through this with Leilani multiple times. I do not want anyone who isn't a close friend or family seeing her in a, such a vulnerable state. Okay? And right here is basically saying, this was when she was in Miami, passed out drunk, and I sent her um, BFF and a driver to pick her up when her friends left her. I still protected her and made sure she wasn't vulnerable in any public or private scrutiny. For the past two years, we've struggled. You struggled, affected us all. Me more, so because of a real mom. I was front line. You've been self-coping, medicating, drinking, and passing out everywhere. You refused treatment time and time again. You were having a manic episode and attacked me in my home. So that's where the physical fight, allegedly, is what she said happens. Now, on to what y'all really want to know. Y'all damn right I blew that mother freak up. I never said I didn't. I thought it was 16 shots. Another lie she told, and not a tear came out of her eye because she's manipulative and calculated. They were there warning shots to get an unstable person from my home when my baby and grandbaby were afraid and upset while she was having a full-on manic episode. I bet it got her butt off my property. So this is her excuse, and this is her reason for shooting at her daughter. Okay. Um, and now y'all want to know how she got the video. I sent it to her dad because she lied to him and said I shot at her 16 times. I don't need to lie or win anyone's sympathy. I stand on the truth. Like I said, she is a very calculating, very manipulative. And that video shows the very end to the altercation and were released to get her off my property. Y'all hear me clearly say, didn't I ask y'all to get off my property? Again, lies she told according to her. I was battered, beaded, erratic. Stuff looks pretty straightforward to me. Baby, I'm a damn good shot. I wanted her off property, not hurt. This is jealousy. Y'all forget the tweet about her saying, oh, no more um, brunches and businesses for you, Stasia. No man or woman dictates my pace. Still booked for brunches, still an endorsement deal, still launching businesses, and still thriving. You're mad because you thought this would break me because you are broken. I didn't. It gave me clarity on who you are. Cain killed the Abel. My father's brother set him up to be unalive. Baby, y'all won't get me. I'm staying as far away from your evilnesses. Um, you ain't never heard this girl raise her voice on the internet, beat the keyboard with nobody her age or otherwise. Use a caps lock with an anyone or have a fight with anyone her own age, but you think it's cute to target your mother? You're miserable. Why today? Why now? When this was months ago and we've had zero contact. Finish watching me from your finister, okay, for your finster, and being the damn so in distress. I'm about to have a shot or 16. It's my birthday. The gun jammed, and that's why you ended up in jail. Because after the gun jammed, which are scary. Where's my chain? Where is this? Where is that? Your weak ass was scared because your mama was going to kill you. So let's talk about it. You know the mother 
gun jammed and you know you was gonna be over with. But guess what? Today, tomorrow, the next day, the only gonna bury you is me. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. What you need to do on my baby, on my kids, is you need to get an attorney. Cause you was, oh my God, why am I in jail? Mommy, brother, could you please get me an attorney? I'm stealing all these people Kool-Aid and I'm so upset. I'm rich, I shouldn't be here. Yeah, bitch. So it sounds to me that she's lying because didn't she just say that it was just warning shots she just let off that she wasn't trying to harm or hurt her daughter? But in this actual audio, she's basically admitting, all right, to trying to unalive her daughter and basically make a mockery of it. Oh, you're scared. You were scared. You this and you that. You knew that I was going to unalive you. Like, what? To me, per to me, honestly, like I said, this is not giving mother, this is not giving daughter, this is giving toxic, and it's not cute at all. Now, Leilani says, how I leak a personal video from your ring camera? You sent the video out thinking it was funny and somebody leaked it to the vlogs. Take accountability for your actions. Now, this is Leilani, the sister, well, the daughter, okay? Right here, basically saying when she shot at my brother and bragged about it and got him locked up. This is a 45-year-old woman, by the way. Now, the air voice notes right here, okay, basically, you know, talking about it. So, not only did she shoot at the daughter, she also shot at Polo G at one point, according to Leilani. She also says, my youngest brother, first time ever getting locked up was because of my mom. She antagonized him the same way she did me. During a dispute, he attempted to retri retrieve his things and leave. She hired movers to discard all his belongings and moved them um, to an, an undisclosed location. She shot at my brother. My brother happily waited for the police to arrive as he was a minor. She lied and said he broke into her house. When offered to drop the charges, she refused. He was placed on house arrest at a one-bedroom apartment had him living in a somebody else's closet introduced him to the penal system then she says my siblings and i have dealt with level of immaturity our whole life having to parent our parent still publicly embarrassed and never oh still publicly embraced and never bashed her even though this was what we were going through behind the scenes she loves drama and misery and seeing us at our lowest says what is wrong with y'all how i sign out of this um you know there was a lot of voice notes and stuff in this group chat okay right here she's basically saying all that working out to get you know shot at by your mom um you got a gun license you scared of him old but da -da -da -da. so basically she's just showing more proof that you know the incident occurred with her shooting okay at her kids okay now right here is basically saying the same thing you're going to die in that house alone with the only kids you can manipulate this is what your mama sent me because she s didn't pay the taxes she go pay for her saying that okay so this is about the grandmother this is how she talks to her own mother my grandmother not her saying that she's gonna die in a house alone with the only kids you can manipulate what that is weird <laughs> i'm sorry then she puts this out in her mental health episodes. Everyone is forced to extend her grace to no avail. I still wish the best for her for the sake um, of my sister, but enough is enough. This was after she told her own mother to, you know, be gone, by the way. Listening to this has changed my life. It's all about making changes. At first, I was mad at my daughter, but something good came out of it. If I'm not sitting around waiting, da 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 da, y'all can pause to read the rest of that. You clearly see me leaving and her walking towards me. Still didn't call the police on her. Still didn't sue for leaking my medical records. She stole my luggage with my laptop, my iPad, my phone, designer items, etc. She just mad that y'all see the truth. I mean, that's what it's looking like. We don't see any evidence really on that end. I've never seen a woman want to be a 45-year-old gang chief thug so bad. I've never seen someone so jealous of their own flesh and blood. I simply defended myself. I've always maintained the same sentiments and story. Luckily for me, whomever you trusted with that rain camera video leaked it to expose your true character. May God heal the jealousy and envy you have in your heart for your own flesh and blood. May God grant you wisdom, maturity, support, guidance, spiritual, and self-awareness. Amen. Hmm. She went in with that one, huh? 
You guys saw only the climax of what happened on Easter. I was attacked verbally, emotionally, physically, constantly provoked, shot at, had my luggage stolen, which in turn triggered a manic episode. Okay, so she's um she's admitting right here that she had a manic episode because of her mother triggered it. I was antagonized both publicly and privately. For you to attempt to murder your child and send the video to multiple family and friends, pause to read the rest of this. Now my daddy sent me the video laughing my butt off. I would have been posted it if that was the case. So she's saying it's not her. All right, like I said, I see some people in the comments basically saying, oh, well... You know, um, it was always said that I take you, I, I put you in this world, I take you out. I feel like that was always a weird saying because what parent really going to sit there and want to unalive their child? I don't care if they was a, a kid, a little kid, a baby, a adult. Why would a parent be wanting to unalive their child? If anything, I just felt like they needed some distance. They needed to ignore each other. That's just what I felt like. I feel like I'd rather just give, you know, my child um some space and stuff like that because who doing that who has the mindset to do that to their own kid i mean everybody's mindset is different but according to this it just seems like they both probably have manic attacks did the mom get evaluated maybe the daughter got it from her who knows because at this point they both seem manic they both seem like you know it's been a toxic relationship they cross some boundaries when it comes to physical um and even trying to allow your child is just a little bit too much to me. Um, but let me know how y'all feel about this mother-daughter relationship and Polo G and that whole family. And how y'all think that is going to end? And do you believe one over the other? Do you think they're both lying? Or do you really not care? So, Megan Thee Stallion is still on her tour, getting sold out tours, doing her thing. Um, but we have an update regarding her album that's supposed to be dropping next week. Okay, so it's the track list. We got his rattle. Ooh, rattle sound good. Uh, Fergar, Fer Figueroa, whatever. Where them girls at? Sound like a good one. Where them girls at? From the front to back. Oh, what if she do that? What if she uses that? Um that um that sample i don't know but pause to read the rest of the track list yes the megan and victoria monet agenda worked i'm ready to spin it seems like a lot of people like the victoria victoria monet and megan we here oh my god i see so many japanese inspired songs oh my god yes victoria monet album is gonna tank again cobra is mine nothing will ever compare when you relate to a song so hard i need to hear rattle and paper together miami blue also doing something for me like what the f is that gonna sound like so some people are already looking at the track list like i want to listen to it already this album is gonna flop of course it's the barbs putting it and putting it I'm claiming spin with Victoria Monet and where them girls at for summer. Okay, so, you know, let's look at what people was paying attention to. Oh, girl, the features on the album ain't it. It might just be a rap for this pony. I feel like hidden features are on this album. Huh. I actually feel like there is some hidden features also. This, this cannot be her only features on the album. You know, sometimes they do this. They put something out. I want to see to get the, um, the interaction. And then, you know, she put out so many damn album cover arts that might be the album. We still don't really know for sure. But at the end of the day, Megan is doing her thing. I like her now because before with the whole Tory Lane situation, like I said, I still feel how I feel about the Tory Lane situation. Okay? But Megan is growing on me. Um, and that's just basically what it is. She's doing her thing. She's consistent. She's putting out the music and she's not letting nobody stop her shine as she shouldn't. Okay. But let me know how y'all feel about it. Are y'all ready for the Megan Thee Stallion album? Cardi B. Now y'all know everybody's still waiting for her album and people still talking about it, but it's looking like she's starting to hint a little bit about the album. Yes. So she posted this up. What y'all think my album name is? 
and she's covering up. We don't know if that's the cover art. We don't know if this is the rollout. We don't know. So, is that the cover, Ken? He says, nope. So, Ken is saying that is not the cover art. It's called Culture and Wave. So, some people are trying to assume what it might be. It is called Sacred. Okay. Given the strategic plan, I'm guessing Cardi B, The Art of the Deal, now featuring the hit single, Negotiated Like It's Hot. That's long. Um, Deformation. What? That would be crazy. Um, All I want to know is if Little Kim is featured on the album. I'm trying to see something. She better make the announcement at a BT experience with the cover art so we can have a lot of pre-saves. Cardi B, the album better be burning hot. I want third degree burns from the first listen. My By the second listen, I want irreparable damage. Not even a skin graft can save. Hardcore, raw, no friendly, lazy like Target melodies. I mean this has to be top. I'm thinking Belkalise. I told y'all Barty Gang the album will be announced in June. Okay, but we'll see because it still hasn't been announced. Like I said, me at this point, I'm already over it. Okay, like I said, I'm Barty Gang. What is, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is. But I cannot for the day of life of me really care about if she's going to drop an album or not. Like, I, I would like to hear the music. I would like to hear her own songs and album and stuff like that. And, you know, I wish her, you know, much success in her career. But I'm over it. Whenever she decides to drop it, we would talk about it. And it is what it is. But let me know how y'all feel about everything that I discussed with the Kendrick Lamar, his pop-up event. How do y'all feel about that? Um, Tiana Teller and her soon-to-be ex-husband. How do you feel about that? Polo G's mom and the sister. What is going to go on over there? Do you think there's going to be any type of resolution? Because I feel like boundaries already been crossed. It is a point of no return. That's just how I feel. I don't know. Everybody different. Okay. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, like I said, her album is dropping soon. I'm glad she dropped the album day. She's dropping everything. The track list is coming. Okay. So she wants to get everybody riled up. And I'm going to be the first one listening because I like Megan Thee Stallion music and it is what it is. Okay, but at the end of the day, let me know how you feel about everything. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Okay, and I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Okay, until then, to the loose, bye. Ooh, shawty, you tried it. Why would you tell me those lies?